She goes to the zoo. She sees a lion. The lion roars. She sees an elephant. The elephant has a long trunk. She sees a turtle. The turtle is slow. She sees a rabbit. The rabbit has soft fur. She sees a gorilla. The gorilla is eating a banana. It is Christmas. Dad gives Tim a toy. The toy is in the box. Tim takes off the lid. He sees the toy. It is a car. The car is red. The car makes noises. The car moves fast. Tim likes the gift. He hugs Dad. Dad smiles. She goes out to play. She runs around. She falls down. It hurts. She cries. She gets up. She goes to the nurse. The nurse is nice. She looks friendly. The nurse gives her a lollipop. It tastes good. The nurse gives her a bandage. She is okay now. She walks back to class. The kids are in class. The teacher is teaching math. The kids are tired. They want to play. They want to see the sun. They like slides. They also like swings. They don't like math. They stare at the clock. The clock moves slowly. The kids continue to wait. He is playing video games. Mom gets mad. She thinks he is lazy. She gives him a list of chores. He frowns. He looks at the list. He has to clean the floors. Then he has to wash the dishes. Finally, he has to feed the dog. He starts doing his chores. She sits in the car. Her dad turns on the radio. A song plays. She taps her feet. She sways her head. Her dad laughs at her. He likes the song too. The song is over. The radio plays a different song. She does not like the new song. She sits quietly. Haley feels hot. Her mom touches her forehead. Haley has a fever. The mom takes Haley to a doctor. The doctor is kind. He gives her a sticker. He tells her to take a pill. He tells her to drink a lot of water. Haley goes home. She takes the pill and drinks water. She does this for three days. She is healthy again. Sarah is hungry. She goes to the kitchen. She opens the cabinet. There are a lot of snacks. The marshmallows are too sweet. The potato chips are too salty. The ice cream is too watery. The kiwis are too sour. The cereal is too bland. Her dad comes home. He gives her crackers. The crackers are perfect. Jill does not like math. Jill starts talking about food. Her friends laugh. They stop doing their homework. The teacher is upset. She tells them to stand in the corner. Jill goes to the corner. It is hard to be quiet. 
She thinks about her family. She thinks about her dog. Five minutes pass. The teacher lets her go. It is Lily's birthday. She gets out of bed. Nobody says anything to her. Her mom takes her to school. Her friends do not say anything. The teacher does not say anything. Lily is sad. Lily walks home alone. She opens the door. Her friends and family are holding a cake. They say, Surprise, Lily! Kate is walking. She sees a dog. The dog wags its tail. Kate likes the dog. It has no collar. Kate takes it home. She washes the dog. She names him Toby. She takes Toby to the vet. Toby is healthy. Kate walks Toby every day. They love each other. Ms. Howard assigns a project. She wants the students to work in groups. Adam works with Joe and Bill. Adam is smart. Joe draws well. Bill is cooperative. They make a good group. They turn in their project. Ms. Howard likes it. She gives them a high grade. Adam, Joe, and Bill are joyful. The cat is bored. He tries to have fun. He plays with yarn. He scratches his tummy. He takes a nap. He drinks milk. He is still bored. He sees a mouse. The mouse is eating cheese. The cat steals the cheese. The mouse is angry. The mouse chases the cat. The cat is having fun. John wants to go to his school field trip. He needs fifty dollars. He wants to earn it himself. He plans to open up a lemonade stand. He goes to the market. The lemons are cheap. They are also ripe. He buys fifty lemons. He starts making lemonade. A lot of people are in line. His lemonade stand is a success. He makes enough money. Tomorrow is the first day of school. Barbara looks at her backpack. It has holes. It is dirty. She needs a new one. Her mom takes her shopping. There are so many backpacks. One backpack has yellow stars. Another one has rainbow stripes. Another one has dogs. Barbara likes this one. She buys it. Maria feels pain in her teeth. She tells her mom. Her mom takes her to the dentist. Maria is scared. She enters the waiting room. The secretary calls Maria's name. Maria goes in. Maria sits in a big chair. She waits for the dentist. The dentist arrives. He is careful with Maria's teeth. He gives her a new toothbrush. Maria feels good. Mark needs a book. He does not have money. His mom takes him to the library. Mark can borrow books for free. Mark enters the library. There are so many books. There are books about animals. There are books about pirates. There are books about science. 
Mark borrows them all. She eats a slice of cake. She drops a crumb. The ants can smell it. They crawl towards the crumb. She notices the ants. She does not want to kill them. She gets a cup. She puts the ants inside. She opens the window. She lets the ants go. It is Halloween. Nancy is dressed as a princess. She goes trick or treating. She walks to one house. She rings the doorbell. A young couple opens the door. Nancy holds out her bag. She receives candy. She says, Thank you. The couple smiles. Nancy goes to the next house. He goes to the petting zoo. There are many different animals. He pets the turtles. The turtles feel rough. He pets the sheep. The sheep feel woolly. He pets the cows. The cows feel smooth. He pets the bunnies. The bunnies feel fluffy. He tells his mom he wants a pet. His mom says he can get one tomorrow. Robert's room is messy. There is pizza under his bed. There is glue on the wall. There is a pile of clothes. There are toys on the floor. Robert does not care. He watches a television show. His mom goes into his room. She turns off the television. She yells at him. He starts to clean his room. Today is Father's Day. Daniel surprises his father. He serves him breakfast. There are eggs, bacon, and orange juice on the tray. Daniel's father is happy. Later, they go play tennis. Daniel stands on one side. He swings the ball. Daniel's father hits the ball back. Finally, they watch the sunset. What a great day! Betty loves her baby sister. Betty takes care of her. She changes her diaper. She feeds her. She teaches her how to walk. She teaches her new words. It is not easy to take care of babies. Betty's baby sister cries sometimes. Betty plays peekaboo with her. She covers her eyes, then opens them. The baby laughs. Sarah's basketball team lost today. She is upset. She walks home sadly. She sits down on the couch. She starts crying. Her mom sees her. She gives her a hug. Then she bakes Sarah's favorite cookies. The warm cookies make Sarah smile. Sarah wipes her tears away. She realizes that sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. He moves to a new city. There are many buildings. There are a lot of people walking. There are many taxis. He feels lonely. Everyone acts so different here. He goes to his new school. He sees a friendly looking person. He asks him to show him around. Christopher wants a pet. He likes fish. 
Fish are easy to take care of. Fish are pretty. Christopher thinks he is responsible enough too. He decides to go to the pet store himself. He buys a fish. It is small. It is red and black. It swims slowly. Christopher puts it in a tank. Brian is the oldest brother. He has two younger brothers. Brian helps his parents around the house. He washes the dishes. He mops the floor. He picks up his younger brothers from school. Brian also teaches his brothers to do the right thing. He tells them to be honest, kind, and friendly. Brian loves his family. It is lunchtime. The kids go out to eat. They are excited and hungry. Paul has a ham sandwich. He does not like ham. He wants a tuna sandwich. Sarah has a tuna sandwich. She thinks tuna is smelly. She wants a ham sandwich. Paul and Sarah meet up. They trade their sandwiches. They get what they want. She wants to make a snowman. First, she rolls a large ball of snow. Second, she rolls a medium ball of snow. Finally, she rolls a small ball of snow for the snowman's head. She stacks them up. The largest ball is on the bottom. She puts a carrot for the nose. She uses buttons for the eyes and mouth. The last thing she adds is a scarf. Donald is in the second grade. His reading level is not as good as the other students. He wants to improve his English skills. He starts to read more. He looks up words he does not know in the dictionary. He writes down what the words mean. Afterwards, he reads the book again. I am practicing drawing. I practice drawing every Saturday and Sunday. My teacher shows me new things. I know how to draw people, animals, and objects now. I always want to get better, so I practice every day. My parents always tell me that I am a good artist. They think I can do it as a job. It is a sunny day. She feels hot. She fans herself with a book. It is still hot. She turns on the air conditioner. It is still hot. She jumps into a pool. It is still hot. Her dad has an idea. He takes her to the ice cream shop. They share a banana split. She does not feel hot anymore. He has a test tomorrow. He does not want to study. Instead, he plays video games. The next day, he takes the test. It is very hard. He does not know anything. He turns in his test blank. The teacher scolds him and gives him an F. Helen wants to do well on the math test tomorrow. She takes out her book and studies. Her brother then comes into her room. He starts making loud noises. Helen yells at him. Her mother then comes into her room. She asks Helen to cook dinner. Helen yells at her. Helen finally tells her family that she is busy. He pours a glass of soda for himself. He accidentally spills some on his shirt. Oh no! His mom will get mad. 
His shirt is very expensive. He tries to clean it up. He pours water on it. He uses a stain remover. He takes the shirt to a dry cleaner's. Nothing works. I am a new student in school. I tell the class about myself. I am from Canada, but now I live in Nevada. I live with my mom, dad, and brother. My brother is five years younger than me. Music is very important to me. I like to sing and dance. I also play the saxophone. One day, I hope to be a music teacher. The roller coaster ride is fun and fast. The line is so long. John and his friends decide to wait. John tried to find ways to pass time. He taps his foot for ten minutes. Then he plays games on his phone. Later he tells his friends jokes. Two hours pass. The boys are still in line. Mr. Brown's lectures are boring. A student looks up at Mr. Brown to check what he is doing. Mr. Brown is writing something on the board. The student takes out his phone. He starts playing games. Mr. Brown walks over to his desk. Mr. Brown takes the student's phone away. He is in trouble. He is sick. He goes to the doctor. The doctor gives him some medicine. He is still sick after one week. His mom tells him to go to sleep. He lies in bed all day. He rests. He drinks chicken soup and eats vegetables. He is still sick. No one likes the flu. She goes to the circus. She sees a clown. He is very colorful. She sees magicians. They take rabbits out of hats. She sees people walking on rope up in the air. She sees people juggling balls. She sees a lot of animals too. There are lions that jump through hoops of fire. There are elephants that dance. She never wants to leave the circus. He is fat. He only eats red meat, chips, and candy. His parents worry about him. They ban him from eating fattening foods. They cook healthy meals only from now on. They eat oatmeal for breakfast. They eat fish, carrots, and vegetables for lunch. They eat chicken and salad for dinner. A Ferris wheel is a huge rotating wheel. It has many seats. He sits on one of them. His seat is yellow. He is excited. He puts his seat belt on. He holds on to the metal bar. He wants to be safe. The wheel moves. He starts to go up, higher and higher. He looks down. The people are so small. The view is so nice. She gets an allowance from her parents. They give her ten dollars a week. She wants more. She asks her parents nicely. They say no. She tries to change their minds. She washes their cars. She makes them dinner. She compliments them. Her parents decide to give her a raise. She will get fifteen dollars a week. She loves to dance. She dances on her school's team. She dances after school. 
She loves to dance in her room. She loves to dance in the kitchen. She even loves to dance in the bathroom. Anyone can see that she is passionate. People say she is the best dancer in the world. She sleeps over at a friend's house. They do a lot of fun activities. They fight with their pillows. They roast marshmallows over a fire. They sing songs. They watch movies. The movies are funny. They eat popcorn while they watch. They braid each other's hair. They use sleeping bags. They fall asleep. He does not like school. He hates his teachers. He hates learning. He hates his classmates. He picks on them. He bothers them. He rips up their homework. He steals their lunch money. One day, his teacher sees him being mean. She yells at him. She makes him say sorry to his classmates. A glass of milk is on the desk. It is near the edge. The child looks at the milk. The child wants to drink it. The cat looks at the milk. The cat wants to drink it too. They both walk towards the desk. The cat is faster. It jumps on the desk. The glass of milk tips over. The milk is all over the floor. He wants to get something for his teacher. He has no money though. He gets creative. He goes to his backyard. He looks at his rose bush. He cuts a nice red one. He puts it in a vase. He pours some water in the vase. The gift is complete. John covers his eyes. Sandra finds a place to hide. John counts to ten. At ten, he opens his eyes. He tries to find Sandra. He walks around their room. He checks the kitchen. He checks under the bed. He checks the laundry room. He does not find her yet. Sandra is in their parents' room. The boy waits for the mailman. A package is supposed to come today. He sits by the window. He sees the mailman walking. He goes outside. He says hello to the mailman. The mailman gives him the package. They say goodbye to each other. The boy goes back in the house. Michael and his grandmother go to the park's playground. There are so many things to do. Michael runs over to the swing set. He sits on a swing. He kicks the ground. His legs are in the air. His grandmother pushes him. He is even higher. He feels like he can touch the sky. Brian has three dogs. The first one is black. The second one is brown. The third one is gray. The black dog is very big. The brown dog is medium sized. The gray dog is very small. Brian loves all of them. He walks with his dogs at the park. The dogs enjoy it. They always seem happy when they are walking. She has a pencil. It is four inches long. It is shiny and pink. It has an eraser and one end. It even has her name on it. She uses her pencil for everything. She uses it to write letters. She uses it to do her homework. She uses it on her tests. 
Two brothers are bored. They play catch with each other inside the house. The older brother throws the ball to the younger brother. He catches it. He throws it back. The ball hits the window. The window breaks. Their mom hears the loud sound. She is mad. She takes the ball away. He has a pet. It is a rabbit. His rabbit's name is Fluffy. Fluffy is a female. She is white. She has black eyes. She is very soft. She is playful. She weighs seven pounds. She likes to hop around the house. She likes to eat carrots. He gives Fluffy five carrots a day. It is break time. The students go out to play. Three friends play with a jump rope. Elizabeth holds one end. Susan holds the other end. They stand apart from each other. They swing the rope. Maria jumps in. The rope goes over her head. She is good. She keeps jumping over the rope. He goes outside. He sees a ladybug. The ladybug is red. It has black spots too. It has six legs. It has two wings. It is small. He puts the ladybug on his finger. It tickles. The ladybug crawls all over him. He wants to keep it. The ladybug flies away. He tries to catch it. The dog likes to dig. It is his favorite thing to do. He goes into his owner's house. He takes a necklace. He puts the necklace in his mouth. He runs into the backyard. He digs a hole with his paws. He puts the necklace inside. He covers the hole with dirt. She likes the monkey bars. She grabs the first bar with her hands. Her legs are swinging from the ground. She puts her right hand on the second bar. She then puts her left hand on the second bar. She continues doing this. She reaches the last bar. She jumps down. She starts over again for fun. She likes to pretend she is a doctor for fun. She wears a white coat. She pretends her room is a medical office. Her dad pretends he is a patient. Her dad goes into her room. He tells her how he is feeling. He says that he keeps coughing. She tells him to drink a lot of water. She goes to her art class. She wears a special white coat. Now her inside clothes will be clean. She is going to draw a sunflower. She gets a paintbrush. She gets green, yellow. And brown paint. She gets a white piece of paper. She dips her paintbrush in the paint. She starts to draw. She is getting ready for soccer practice. She wears her uniform. She gets a soccer ball. Her mom drives her to the soccer field. She gets out of the car. She says hi to all her teammates. They stretch. They put their legs together. They reach their toes with their hands. 
A kangaroo is an interesting animal. It has a pouch. A kangaroo's baby goes into the pouch. It is safe there. James would like to have a pouch. He would not put a baby in there. He would put food and video games inside. People and kangaroos are different. He visits his aunt and uncle. They are very different from each other. His aunt is tall and skinny. His uncle is fat and short. His aunt likes vegetables. His uncle only eats meat. His aunt is quiet. His uncle is loud. They still love each other. They like it when he visits. He always has fun with his aunt and uncle. The boy is always busy. He goes to school for eight hours. He has seven classes. They are all hard. He has a lot of homework. It takes him five hours to finish it. He also has piano practice. He spends two hours playing the piano. He only sleeps for four hours. He is tired. She pours some chips in a bowl. Her dad sees her. He tells her chips are bad. They are unhealthy. She throws away the chips. She goes back to the kitchen. She starts to make fruit salad. She gets bananas, strawberries, kiwis, and apples. She cuts them up in small pieces. She puts them all together in a bowl. The teacher announces that there is a test. The students clear off their desks. The teacher passes out the tests. The student takes a deep breath. He takes out his pencil. He looks at the questions. He knows the answers. He writes them down. He finishes the test. He feels good. Lisa and her mom go to school. They meet with Lisa's teacher. The teacher smiles. They all sit down. The teacher talks about Lisa's grades. She is doing very well. She is very smart. The teacher also talks about Lisa's behavior. She is friendly to everyone. Her mom is happy. She has one dog already. It has black fur. It is very big. She wants another one. She goes to the pet store. She buys another dog. It has brown fur. It is medium sized. She brings it home. She puts her two dogs together. They run away from each other. They do not like each other. The boy tries to study for his quiz tomorrow. His cat keeps bothering him. It keeps pulling his leg. It keeps making noises. He gets a ball of yarn. He throws it across the room. The cat chases the ball of yarn. The cat catches the yarn. It plays with it. The boy can finally study. He wants to grow an orange tree. He digs a small hole. He puts the seeds in it. He covers the seeds with soil. He waters it for a week. No oranges have grown. He asks his mom what he is doing wrong. She says, you have to be patient. He continues to water the tree for a month. 
he sees an orange start to grow. Helen leaves her notebook in the cafeteria. She does not know this yet. She goes to class. Kevin enters the cafeteria. He sees a notebook. He does not know whose it is. He puts it in the lost and found box. Helen realizes her notebook is gone. She checks the lost and found box. She finds her notebook. Tag is a very fun game. George, Lisa, and Laura play tag every day. Lisa and Laura run around. George tries to chase them. He runs as fast as he can. He decides to find Lisa. She is a slow runner. He sees her running. He catches up to her. He taps her on the shoulder. He says to her, Tag, you're it. I like cupcakes and lollipops. Both of them are sweet. My mom likes hamburgers and french fries. Both of them are salty. My dad likes lemons and grapefruits. Both of them are sour. My sister likes coffee and dark chocolate. Both of them are bitter. My brother likes everything. The teacher is talking about U.S. government. She thinks it is boring. She stares at her desk. She starts to daydream. She dreams about her friends. They invite her to a party. The party is fun. She dances and sings. She listens to good music. The teacher wakes her up. Her dad is lonely. He lives in a big house with no one. He is divorced. His friends live far away. He does not work anymore. He just sits at home and watches movies. She feels bad for her dad. She surprises him with a dog. He loves the dog so much. He takes care of it. She is too sick. She has a cold. She can't stop sneezing. She keeps a tissue box near her. Her nose is so red. She also has a fever. She puts a cold towel over her forehead. She is too sick to go to school. Her friends visit her. They give her the homework assignments. They try to make her feel better. Ronald is the worst student. He does not do his homework. Instead, he plays video games. His teacher yells at him. Ronald does not care. He listens to music when the teacher is talking. He does not study. His test scores are bad. He is mean to his classmates, too. Charles asks to borrow his eraser. Ronald hits him. She has bad manners. She never shows any respect. Her mother buys her a present. She does not say thank you. Her grandparents come to her house. She asks them to leave. Her classmate has something she wants. She steals it. Her dad asks her for a favor. She does not do it. He does not like Ms. Garcia, his math teacher. She always separates him from his classmates. She always gives him a lot of homework. She always calls him mean names. She never helps him. He drops out of Ms. Garcia's class. He transfers to Miss Moore's class. 
She is much better. Michelle eats with her family. She wants to eat peas. She asks her mom, Will you please pass me the peas? Mom smiles. She gives her the plate. Michelle gets a gift from her dad. She thanks him. Michelle sees a classmate cry. She gives the classmate a tissue. Michelle has really good manners. He has bad teeth. He gets braces. He goes to school. He starts to talk. His classmates see his braces. They make fun of him. He feels sad. He closes his mouth. He stops talking. His teacher asks him a question. He decides to talk. He does not care if people make fun of him anymore. It is the first day of high school. She is completely lost. She has never been here before. Her first class is Spanish. The class is in the A building. A staff member sees her wandering around. He gives her a map. She looks at it. She finds her Spanish class. Donna and her uncle go to a school supplies shop. Donna sees a pink eraser. She likes it. She does not have any money. She puts the eraser in her pocket. She runs out of the store. Her uncle sees her. He tells her that stealing is bad. He puts the eraser back. He makes Donna apologize to the manager. He is talking to his friends. His cell phone rings. He answers it. It is his sister. She asks if he could pick her up at school. He tells her to wait. He gets off the couch. He tells his friends to leave. He drives his car. He parks on the street. His sister gets in the car. The princess is stuck in the tower. A dragon will eat her soon. The king and queen are sad. They offer to give money to the person who saves her. They put up posters around town. A poor farmer sees it. He climbs up the tower. He gets the princess. He takes her to his horse. They ride back to town. He wants to eat some pizza. He opens the refrigerator. He reaches for the frozen pizza. It is cold. He wants it to be hot. He puts it in the microwave. He heats the pizza for five minutes. His sister wants to drink cold water. She gets a bottle of water from the kitchen. It is warm. She puts it in the refrigerator. She goes to the market. She buys ingredients for lunch and dinner. She goes to the pharmacy. She picks up her medicine. She goes to school. She takes three tests. She goes to the park. She runs ten laps. She finally goes home. She is tired and sweaty. What a day! She takes a cold shower. She feels good. He waits for his package. He is excited. He will finally get his t-shirt today. He waits outside his house. The mail carrier gives him the package. He opens it up. The t-shirt is red. He ordered the blue one. He is upset. He calls the company. The manager apologizes. He will send the blue t-shirt for free. She goes to English class. She reaches into her backpack. Her glasses are not inside. She cannot see anything. 
her teacher writes the sentence, The cat chases the ball. The teacher asks the students to copy this sentence. She squints. She still cannot see the sentence. She sits closer to the board. She will never forget her glasses again. He works at a fast food restaurant. He hates his job. He flips burgers. He cuts potatoes. He pours soda in cups. He thinks doing these things is boring. He does not like talking to customers. His boss, Susan Wright, is mean. She always makes him work extra hours. He finally quits his job. She thinks about the future a lot. She wants to be a doctor. Doctors have cool uniforms. Doctors make people feel better. Doctors make a lot of money. She wants to live in Beverly Hills, California. The city is very clean. The houses there are nice. She wants to get married and have kids, too. She walks across the street. She has four boxes in her hand. They are very heavy. She falls down. She drops the boxes. A stranger helps her. He asks if she is okay. She nods her head. He picks up her boxes. He carries them to her car. She says thank you. He loves Thanksgiving. He looks at his calendar. He gets out his pen. He crosses out the days that have passed. He puts an X through them. There are only two more days until Thanksgiving. He is so happy. He is excited to eat turkey. He is excited to see his entire family. He reads a book. The main character is a wolf. It tries to find its family. It travels all over the world. In the end, the wolf dies. This book is too sad. He reads another one. The main character is a girl. She wants to win a swimming competition. She practices a lot. In the end, she gets first place. He likes this book. Betty and Brian go to the amusement park. It is hot and sunny. They want to cool off. They see a water slide. There is a long line. Everyone wants to get wet. Betty and Brian finally reach the front of the line. They get into their bathing suits. They go down the slide. They are completely wet. Dorothy has a diary. It has a pink cover. It is four inches in length. It is three inches in width. It has 200 pages. There are lines on the pages. She writes in it every day. She writes about how she is feeling. She writes about what happened in school. Sometimes she draws in her diary. He goes to a shoe store. He sees a pair he likes. It is black and white. He tries it on. It is too tight. He asks if there is a bigger size. There is not. He looks at the other shoes. He sees another pair he likes. It is bright yellow. He tries it on. It fits perfectly. She has a lot of pants. She has two pairs of jeans. One of them is light blue. The other one is navy blue. She has two pairs of formal pants. One of them is khaki. The other one is gray. She has two pairs of casual pants. 
One of them has flowers on it. The other one has hearts on it. She wears pants every day. He eats noodles. It is plain. He adds chili sauce. He tries the noodles. It tastes a lot better. He starts to put chili sauce in everything. He puts chili sauce on french fries. He puts chili sauce in soup. He puts chili sauce on egg rolls. He even puts chili sauce on rice.